Well, I, I suppose it's fair to say that in, in all Western countries, including your own country, there has been a shift where uh, people who um, understood the gospel have grown up around the gospel over generations have sort of lost the edge of understanding what true salvation is because it gets lost in the works-based type uh, salvation. Um, you've got that happening in your country. Oh, yeah. And you've, <laughs> and you've got a growing younger generation of, of people that have never been exposed to mm-hmm. biblical Christianity at all. So they're postmodern, post-Christian, mm-hmm. so they don't understand any of that. We have the same thing in South Africa. And so both groups of people are very challenging to reach because the one uh, is inoculated to the gospel. They, they, he- they hear things in a way and, and they, they're not really hearing the truth. The others are suspicious of anybody religious. So in both of those demographics, what, what are you left to do? You've got to build what we might call redemptive relationships. And that's not a new word that's been around for a long time, but it's, it communicates something. We're building friendships or developing the friendly acquaintances in our life. And and we could have dozens of those operating at the same time. And Julie and I have modeled this in our own life over 35 years. And some people uh, we've been working with for decades, building that redemptive and and communicating the gospel into their hearts, not giving up on them. And it's always easy to give up. If somebody doesn't make... Uh, give an immediate response to the gospel, we tend to back off and say, well, we we did our part, let's (laughs) move on to someone else. But we ought to be investing in people's lives. Well, thanks for watching that clip on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our weekly content. See you soon.